Just talking to Joe Barnes. I said, Joe, are you going to do anything differently in the offense? He says, no. He says, we don't need to. He says, we're moving the ball well. He says, that's not the problem. He's right. The problem is they haven't been able to stop Dieter Brock and the Hamilton offense. First down, Argos from their 45. Screen to Mitter. Mitter is into Hamilton territory at the 49-yard line. And that is the first down for Toronto as the third quarter comes to an end. It is Hamilton 33, Toronto 23. We'll return with the fourth quarter in a moment. Well, there's the flag on the flagpole above the stadium. You can see the wind, but then down a field level, there's very little. That's right, Pat. Very little wind, no rain. It's almost a perfect day right now for the game. First down, Argos, from the Hamilton 50. The pass is complete to Pearson at the 30-yard line. He gets into the 29. Mike McIntyre pinned him there, but boy, I'll tell you, Holloway really drilled that one in. He really did, and it's hard to believe that Paul Pearson could be that wide open that far downfield. He makes just an excellent diving catch here, but as you see, no ha Hamilton Ticat defender within 10 yards of him. So this is the situation. Hamilton leads it by 10 points. The Argos have a first down at the Hamilton 29-yard line. Paul Pearson, the ball carrier, inside the 25 to about the 24. He'll pick up five. The pass is caught inside the 10-yard line by Jeff Townsend. Fine reception by Townsend gives Toronto first and goal from the nine. Well, when you get into a game of this importance, you have to have everybody contributing. Certainly number 30, Jeff Townsend, has done his part. Excellent catch right there. The other two catches he's had have been on screen plays that he's had excellent yardage from. So Hank Olisic will try a field goal from the 17-yard line. If he is successful, the Argos move back to within a converted touchdown. A line drive that goes through. So the score now is Hamilton 33, Toronto 26, and we'll be back in just a moment. He, uh, he got a lot of deep help and inside help. But uh, we're just trying to work the other receivers right now, and um, I'll get my chance when they come. I guess I'll make the best of it. Well, uh, thanks to Terry Greer, and let me tell you that the attendance this afternoon is 54,530. That is an all-time Toronto Argonaut record. The Ticats with a seven-point lead at first down from their 35. Over the middle to Bragagnola. And he gets to about the 44-yard line for a pickup of nine before William Mitchell, number 39, the linebacker, brings him down. You know, Pat, some coach once said that take the win when you get a chance, it may go down. And that axiom may hold true today because the win has really, uh, really settled down. It's hardly a factor. Al, it's a little bit like Palm Springs here, you know, the temperature's in the 50s. It's very warm, but you're right. Hey, we'll be down there in about 10 days. All right, let's see now what the Ticats come up with on second and one. They give to Shepard, and he was able to get underneath Don Mo uh, William Mitchell and Nicholson and get the first down. John, uh, Di Pietro makes the catch right at the first down marker at midfield. There is a flag down on the field of play, however. Ooh, that's a big penalty. It is against the Ticats, a procedure penalty. 